Hey guys, so like the rest of my absolute skill videos, in this video the priority is to get across which absolute skills you should be looking to pick up as a striker. Now because we don't have awakening and this is the first time absolutes are going to be available without awakening, there is a grey area where you're going to have extra skill points and be able to pick up additional absolutes. Definitely look to spend your points when you have them, however these should be the priority skills that you're looking to pick up. And once you do have awakening and you've managed to max out your awakening skills, these are going to be the absolutes that you then put points back into. So we're going to cover a couple of these skills today in this video. I'm not going to go over everything, but these are the priorities that you should be looking to grab. Okay, so first off, we're going to look at a level 56 absolute skill. And this is absolute mass destruction. So it comes off the back of the flow of mass destruction that follows adamantite. And it's only a level 56 absolute. The beauty of this skill is that it's really, really, really cheap to pick up. So we're talking 10 skill points. For those 10 skill points, you're going to triple the base damage. The modifier is going from 251% to 670%. It's a fantastic increase overall. Add to that the fact that you're also going to gain an extra 25 WP from this, and you're going to gain an accuracy rate of plus 6% for 10 seconds. This is a really, really decent skill and definitely something you should be picking up as an absolute. It's also one of the super armors that you're going to use throughout your super armor rotations and making sure that you're protected, especially in PvP. So absolute mass destruction will probably be your first pickup in terms of absolute skills, unless obviously you're at 59 or 60, in which case this priority list is pretty much going to be backwards from what you're seeing in this video, because we're going to leave the level 60 till the last skill which is going to be the last one that most of the players pick up. Okay, so next we're going to jump to level 59. And at level 59, the first thing you're going to want to pick up is Absolute Roaring Tiger. Now again, this is a really cheap Absolute skill. It's only going to cost you 35 points, and for that you're going to benefit from one of your major skills. So Roaring Tiger is a down attack and a down smash. This should be used in your combos, and it's also providing you with your HP of plus 300, just for using the skill. You regen this health without actually hitting things. This is hands down one of the most used skills in the Striker's Toolkit, and being able to benefit from the Absolute version is going to be huge. So the damage increase here is really significant. You're going to go from 728% over 5 hits to 1524%, and you're also going to be able to hit an additional 3 targets. Those are the two main things that change on this. Unfortunately, there isn't an increase to the HP recovery, and the accuracy rate remains at 12%. But that being said, Roaring Tiger is a staple of the Striker Toolkit, and you're definitely going to benefit from picking this Absolute up as soon as you hit level 59. Providing you've got the skill points, this should be your second pickup as you're leveling, or it should be a priority once you're already at level 59 or above as a Striker. Okay, so next up we have Absolute Wolf's Fang. Again, level 59, However, this one's going to jump up to 40 skill points required. Now this is kind of a hit and miss skill. Some strikers are saying that they're not going to be taking it, others are saying that they are. It's not necessarily something that you would take post-awakening. However, pre-awakening is definitely going to have a spot in the toolkit and it's going to be something worthwhile picking up. Nothing really changes with this skill other than the fact that you get a significant damage increase. So it's going to retain its forward guard, it's going to give you the knockdown in PvE, and it's going to give you the stun in PvP. It also works as a down attack, so again, weaving that into combos, especially pre-awaken, is going to be something of use to you. I would say that if you don't have the skill points and you're close to 60, it might be worth holding off on this. However, if you are sat with a reasonable amount of skill points and there's nothing else that takes your fancy, then Absolute Wolf's Fang is going to be a reasonably good pickup. In terms of the benefits of having this compared to other Absolute skills, as I said already, the only real impact is the damage modifier, which is quite significant in terms of how much damage you're going to gain from this skill, especially when you look at the Lunar Explosion damage on this. That being said, there are other skills that are more of a priority. I did want to throw this out there though as another level 59 skill for people that have the skill points. Okay, so last but not least, we're looking at the level 60 absolute skill. So at level 60, for 40 skill points, you're going to be able to pick up absolute rage hammer. Now this is going to be a significant damage increase and a great change to your toolkit. It's going to allow you to increase the attack range and also benefit from increased damage on lunar explosion 
and the actual hit damage from Rage Hammer itself. This is going to be your main priority. If you're 59 and close to 60, you're definitely going to want to save skill points for this. If you're level 60 already, which I understand is few and far between on Xbox, this is going to be your first pickup. You're going to pick up Rage Hammer and then the rest of the absolutes. Overall, I would say that the striker absolutes aren't the most interesting. They do give the normal damage increase, however their skill interactions aren't that great. Other than a couple of little things like some increased attack range, the fact that you gain some extra targets on some of the absolutes, there isn't anything really to talk about in terms of the striker toolkit. As a class, it's really well rounded. It's incredibly strong defensively against magic classes, although it does drop off against some melee classes or physical damage, things like the Musa. Um, it does have a much easier time with Striker than other classes. But Striker was always balanced around its po post awakening toolkit. So once Striker hits that post awakening point, that's when the class is really going to come online. Until then, though, having the extra damage from the Absolute skills is definitely going to help the class in its 1v1 and its group PvP potential. But that being said, the class really doesn't struggle. Striker overall is a relatively simple class to play. You can pick up and play this with reasonable gear and still get a lot more out of it than you can from other classes. So the absolute skills as a whole don't impact that too much. But for those striker players out there though that have already mastered how to correctly rotate super armors and benefit from the lingering super armors on the skills, having the extra damage throughput is going to make nailing those kills a lot easier. As always though guys, if you have any questions, do throw them in the comments section. The guys from Alpha do regularly check these videos. They are great at helping answer any questions that you guys have. As I'm not a striker main, I wouldn't know how to answer a lot of the questions, but I will always ask people that do know and get back to you with the right answers. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you found it useful. And don't worry, if you are one of the remaining classes, I am planning on getting those absolute skill videos done as soon as I can.